because it is the only thing making this game unfun. And this is a game all about fun, I've heard from the devs. So now locking you out of fun perk combinations that people all want to test out right now, that is also making it a game that's not about fun. It's about clicking on the skill tree and respecking and clicking and respecking over and over until you get the fun that you want, until you get the perks that you want to combine. I remember them talking in the dev stream how much they want players to have free reign and just have fun with the, the perks. You can't do that right now. You have like seven to choose from. This is the biggest annoyance in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game right now. It just launched yesterday. I was right about something. I was right about something that I was really worried about when it came to the perk system, the skill tree system. I was like hoping and praying that one video when we were going over the uh, dev stream where they revealed the skill tree. I was snorting copium in that video. I was hoping that it wouldn't end up this way, but it ended up the worst way possible. The way the skill tree works right now is you put about 50 points, which are super easy to earn in like three matches, maybe four matches. You can fully level up a character just completely. So that's kind of crazy. They could change that and make it so that the skill tree just keeps going and going until you unlock all the perks. That would be nice. But instead you go on a branch in your skill tree, you spend about 50 points, 55. It's like 52 to 55 points. It's weird because some paths give you more attribute points in them. So then your character is stronger depending on which path you go on. And then some path is just your three points less and then your character is a bit weaker. But maybe you have better perks on that path. I don't really know. But currently on the screen, you'll be seeing Sissy's skill tree for me. I leveled it up fully in the middle and then I had to respec, get all my points back. All the random question mark slots all disappear and they become random perks again once you go on that path which is a whole problem in of itself that I'll talk about. But yeah, so I respect, I had to go on a different path and then there's two paths on every path as well. So that's annoying. So I had to go on one path, then respect, go on the same path again, but the alternate branch of that same path, then respect, do the left side and then do the left side again, alternate path, then do the right side and the right side alternate path. Some of them might even have two different th or three different paths. I don't even know, but you have to just keep respecting and keep going and seeing what all the perks are and all the the paths and then you finally have the full thing unlocked so that you can see which path you actually want to take and see which perks you want now i don't know if they do this because of balancing reasons but since you can only choose one path at a time and it locks the rest out since you can only choose one path at a time and it locks the rest of the paths out you only get a set amount of perks on your character you can't go to your loadout screen and be like oh i want to choose from all these different 30 the 30 or 40 different perks that are in the game that I was super excited about. When we had the video yesterday that I was going over every single perk in the game and we read all the descriptions, I was getting hyped. Like I could see this perk comboing well with this and this and that, but you can't do that. You only get one path and every path has about seven to eight perks maybe on them, maybe one or two grandpa perks, and that's what you're stuck with. So either everyone's skill trees for that certain character is the same, or if we're all getting random things in our skill trees, then the game is extremely imbalanced. Some people are going to have insane combos on their skill tree. I don't think this is the case, by the way, because that would be really stupid. But yeah, if that is the case, then some people are going to have insane combos on the left side of their skill tree, while others are going to have the worst perks over there. But I, again, don't think that's the case. I'll have to look into it more. But the, what is the case right now is that there are little random nodes on the skill tree, little question mark circles, right? They offer random perks. There's about like two of them, maybe one of them on every side of the skill tree. But if you see a side that you like that has certain perks that you really want, you want these two perks together. Sometimes you won't even get two perks together because the perk you want is over there and the perk you want is over there. You're not going to be able to combo with those two perks. You can't use them at the same time. I don't know why. Maybe that's the balancing thing. That's the way they balance the game, locking you out of certain perk combinations. It's like if DBD, I, I hate comparing this game to DBD because it's so different and it's so much fun right now. But that's like if you can, on your blood web, you can only choose Hex Rune on this side or you can choose Pop Goes the Weasel on this side. You can never combo them together. Ne I mean, wait, why am I comparing those two? If you don't even want to combo those two together. But regardless, Barbecue and Chili on one side, Unrelenting on the other. That's an obvious choice again. I don't know what I'm doing. Bad comparisons, but you know what I mean. Basically on every character maxed out, you're going to have about seven or eight perks on them. You're not going to have all of them unlocked no matter what. But yeah, again, back to the random nodes, you can get random perks. So that's great, right? You can get random perks from these nodes. The thing is you go up the path, you get a random node 
and then you're like, oh, that's not the one I want. Respec, have to do it all over again. Go up, oh, that's just a, like, it's like one in 40 chance you're gonna get a perk that you actually want. So you have to keep going, keep respecting, keep going, keep respecting until you get your two perks on this branch and the random one that you want. If your branch has just one of the perks that you wanna use and then you have to hope and cross your fingers, pray to God you get the two perks you want on the two random nodes, good luck. Because you're gonna go up the path, get the one perk that you do want, then the random nodes come up. You're gonna have to keep respecting on these random nodes, both of them, until you get the two perks that you really want to use together with the one perk that's guaranteed on that branch. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but this is really annoying. Just, I hope the devs can make it so that we can just have free reign with our perks. If this really is truly a game about fun and not balance, competitiveness or anything, first off, they said in their dev post or on their website, blog post, whatever, that the stat trackers in the game, like you can go to this whole stat menu, tracking your, your wins, your kills, all this stuff. They said that's in the game on their own blog post, on their own website. It's in there so that you can brag to your family at the dinner table or whatever. So that already makes this feel like a competitive game. Now locking you out of fun perk combinations that people all want to test out right now, that is also making it a game that's not about fun. It's about clicking on the skill tree and respecting and clicking and respecting over and over until you get the fun that you want, until you get the perks that you want to combine. And that's just on one character alone. It is, you got to do that with every single character if you want to use certain perks together. So yeah, it's really just an annoying mechanic that like no matter what, you're never guaranteed to, to play with perks that you want together. It's, it's just annoying. I think a game... A game that I covered for a long time, like a year and a half, Video Horror Society had a perfect perk system. You can go on your branches on the skill tree, and eventually, once you're high enough level, unlock all the branches, right? And then once it came to the balancing of the game, they offered you 30 perk points in your loadout. Every perk in the game, depending on the tiers as well, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 of every perk, all cost different amounts of perk points. It's kind of like a pick 10 system in Call of Duty. So maybe this super OP perk, let's take Taekwondo in this game, for example, the, the perk that lets a survivor stun the killer for 16 seconds. I'd say that perk would cost 16 to 18 perk points, right? Maybe even 20, because it's so, so good. So then you can equip that perk, and then you can equip another five cost perk and another five cost perk. Those are probably like tier ones or tier twos of certain perks in the game, certain worse, worse ones, right? So it balances the game in that way. Instead of balancing the game around locking people out of fun mechanics and skill trees and combos, all the replayability that comes from DVD is making insane perk combos, add-on combos, just doing all this stuff together and trying new builds. Builds, that is what brings replayability to these games and not being able to build a character, like you get like a couple options, is not fun. I was so hyped when I saw how many perks were in this game, but knowing I can only combine set amounts of them is pretty lame. So I'm just hoping that we can one day, maybe soon, maybe they'll change the system. There's a lot of complaints on the Reddit as well right now, and I've seen some on Twitter. I haven't checked out the Discord, but I'm sure people are confused in there of how the skill tree works, how you're supposed to get certain perks together. But yeah, it seems like a lot of people aren't liking this, and I just had to call it out as well, because this was exactly what I was worried about. You can go back in a couple videos from before the game released, and this is exactly what I talked about. And yeah, it just seemed like on the dev stream that this was what's going on, and it is, it's true. This is how the game turned out. I love the game so much, though. It's so much fun. I just want to have more fun. I want to be able to... I want to be able to use the perks that I want to use together. Like, it's just, the skill tree is so complicated right now, too. It's, it's annoying. And I'm just going to show, like, comments on the screen. Maybe they already popped up in the video. Other people in comment sections of videos that are going over the best build for this character or this fun build. People are like, I don't have those perks in my skill tree. How did you get those? Or, like, like everyone is just so different right now. No one knows how to... No one is given free reign over their perks. It's just decided by the game um maybe it's not decided by the game but at least the random slots are and that's annoying now another thing they could do to make this better except this also will make you have to go up the skill trees a billion more times and respect them a billion more times 
They could make the skill tree tied to loadout slots, so you can have in your loadout one slot um, the whole left side branch, right? Loadout two, you have the left side plus the alternate path. Loadout three, you got the middle branched path. You know, you, they could do that so that you at least can swap easily without having to respec every time you want to swap perks. Um, but even that, that just makes you have to go up the skill tree like 25 more times per character. So that's also annoying. I just hope at some point, maybe you can level up your character past 10. Maybe you can actually get to the top of the, the, the skill tree and it just unlocks all the perks for you so that you can have free reign over your loadout and play style. Because right now you are locked into a set play style and they don't want you. I remember them talking in the dev stream how much they want players to have free reign and just have fun with the, the perks. You can't do that right now. You have like seven to choose from when there's 30 in the game that I want to choose from. Makes no sense. Um, that's it. That's my only complaint about the game right now, except also um, keyboard customization. You can't do that yet. But I feel like that would be something that is coming, so I don't really need to talk about it. But yeah, this is a core mechanic of the game, and it's a very unfun one. I do kind of like that it levels up so quickly, like like just in a couple games. Again, like four or five games, you're going to have a character maxed out. And the skill tree points are shared between everyone in the game. So you could just, if you maxed out Leatherface's skill tree, you can just quickly go over to Leatherface, respec it so that you get all your skill tree points back and just put them all on Johnny and then you got a level 10 Johnny all of a sudden when he was just level zero within the same minute. So that's nice. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Let me know your thoughts on the mechanics down below. Um, do you like the way Video Horror Society does it? Because if they lock you out of certain branches because of balancing reasons, they don't want this perk comboed with that perk, then they could just make it the Video Horror Society system where it's 30 perk points. Each perk costs different points. Again, that's a lot of programming. I'm not saying they're going to be able to do that in a day, but even games like DVD has gone through severe changes in the past. And I think this game, at least this system could go through some severe changes because it is the only thing making this game unfun. And this is a game all about fun. I've heard from the devs. So anyways, let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.